everybody. Um, I want to uh, welcome the mayor. Thank you, Mayor Mitchell, for coming tonight. Um, I want to welcome Steve Folkino from the uh, not, New Bedford Free Public Library. Thank you. It's a mouthful. I know. <laughs> the um, library trustees, thank you for being here. The New Bedford Art Museum trustees, I want to thank you for coming as well. The volunteers that are here um, and our supporters. And Councilman, thank you for coming. Um, this is a pretty special night here, actually, for the New Bedford Art Museum. Um, we are here um, really to celebrate what we're trying to do moving forward. Um, as you can see, the place looks a little different than probably the last time you're in here. Um, that's because when I was hired almost a year ago, they uh, said, OK, Kate, you're on board. Grow the place. So I'm like, all right. Um, so what I did is I spent several months actually talking to people, some of the founders of the museum, talking to the trustees, the staff, visitors, people who've never been to the museum, really trying to get a feel for what people wanted. What does is, what is the city need? What does this region need in our museum? And one of the big things that we needed was really something to do. We needed to breathe some life into this place. The walls were gray, the floors were gray. We had a great openings, but they were every four months. We had super aha nights, but it's once a month. We didn't have enough going on here. So what we did is we made a plan from that. And that plan started with, we needed to build a foundation and a place to really showcase art and really showcase some of the programming that we're gonna be doing here. So just to kind of give you a feel for what this whole process is and what the plan is, is as you can see, we've renovated the first floor here um, with the great thanks and help to the city of New Bedford and um, the facilities department, the mayor and his staff, everybody banded together and made this happen. Our volunteers, our staff, we had people, we had supporters that backed us financially because they believed in this. Um, and so what we did is we established a, um, a store and gallery shop. It's a regional gallery that's really gonna highlight all of the talented artists throughout the area and a shop. So we can really not only create some earned income for the museum to keep our efforts moving forward, but to also support the economy and our local artists. We, we're gonna stock that, as you can see, it's not stocked yet, but we're gonna be stocking that with um, a lot of work from local artists. Um, we, like I said, we've, we've kind of changed things up. Um, the new exhibit is a sampling of everything that you can expect to see moving forward. So there's installation art, there's textile art, there's fashion, there's fashion photography, there's um, prints, there's, there's textiles in the back, there's, there's ceramics, a little bit of everything. So people can get, get a sense of, oh, all right, art is really comes in different forms and different expressions and it's a little bit of something for everybody. Moving forward downstairs, we do have um, an ongoing renovation effort for our education room ex and expanding that and expanding our programming down there. We're gonna be building a, a permanent children's gallery as well to really celebrate the talented kids that, that not only come to New Bedford and New Bedford Art Museum, but our Investing Kids programs and our art mobile all summer. Um, and we've got a whole lot of other programs that we're, we're gonna be developing and we're gonna be bringing out a whole programming schedule so people have a reason to come into the museum. We're gonna be staggering shows. We're really gonna create some energy in this place. Um, so, one of the big pieces of that is the city gallery. Um, one of the reasons this museum, from what I understand, was founded was to really showcase the works from the library. Um, they've got an unbelievable collection, as you probably all know, and we wanted to make it more accessible. So this collaboration with the trustees of the library, the art museum, the city of New Bedford, has really come together tonight, and we're really proud of this collaboration. So, with that said, um, I want to, again, thank everybody and turn it over to the mayor, who has been so supportive, and it just, it goes to say, you, you've just come into office, and what you've done in supporting us really speaks volumes for your commitment to the future of New Bedford, and thank you, and um, we want to be a part of your success, so I appreciate it. So, 
May I introduce Mayor John Mitchell. Well, thank you, everyone. Um, I, I would start off by highlighting, um, you know, the, the vast, uh, let's say, upgrade, but uh, real, real improvement here that uh, I think just speaks for itself. And the little that I can, I can add to it, it really is stunning. I mean, um, the floor, the ceiling, everything, the exhibits, the layout. I mean, it's, it's, it's really, uh, it, it really pops when you walk in the door. And I think it's a, it's a tribute to a, a lot of people, most of all to, uh, to Kate Ross's leadership. Um, you know, Kate's been here for just under a year, I think, right? And, uh, and she's really made her presence felt in the community and in the art scene uh, here in our town. Um, and, uh, and, and you're seeing uh, the fruits of uh, her labors and her advocacy, um, her dogged advocacy for this institution. She's embraced our community and um, you know, we, we will be in the long run and the immediate run um, better off for it. Um, let me uh, also acknowledge the efforts of um, Janice Hodgson, who's uh, standing right over there, for her expertise in, in uh, shepherding the, uh, uh, the, the city's collection uh, and also finding places here where, you know, we can really experience the art. I should also note that today, uh, Janice uh, decorated my office. Uh, I've only been in for three months. The walls have been bare but uh, until today, and now uh, uh, I can uh, finally show off my office as something that's more than a college dorm room. So um, <laughs> thank you, Janice, for that. Um, let me, reach, let me uh, say thank you also to the Library Board of Trustees, uh, headed by Carl Cruz, uh, who've uh, been great advocates for the library and the library's club collection over the years. Uh, we're very proud of the city's collection. Uh, so proud of it that um, there's a part of me as someone who prosecuted, among other things, art theft cases that uh, really don't want to talk about it too loudly, but it's, it is uh, an amazing collection and what we hope to do over time is show it off to the rest of the world. Uh, I think people are, uh, are really surprised by what we have in our collection. Um, let me also uh, uh, give special thanks to uh, the Department of uh, Public Facilities and John Perry in particular. Where's John? John was here. There he is. Tucked in the back. Humbly. Uh, John and his, his crew really worked hard in the last uh, few weeks and I um, got to see it firsthand from my, my window on the third floor. I watched the, the progress over here and stopped in as it, as it went along and it looks, uh, as I said before, as we all observe. It's, it looks uh, wonderful. Great job, John. Um, and we also note that, the, that this wouldn't be possible without uh, the volunteer work of uh, the Community Service Program headed by Tommy O'Neill, uh, volunteers and other supporters of the, the Art Museum uh, and the Library, and also the donations of, of many folks, including uh, Cecil Lopes from the Bedford Floor Covering. Um, you know, it is, um, as I've discussed along the way um, in the last couple of months and even while I was campaigning, it's important for, for communities to have art scenes. And you know, there, it is, I, I submit, in vogue today for cities to turn to, to the arts, to turn to building arts communities as a way of um, uh, building uh, economic activity, spurring economic activity. Um, in many ways, it, it works. In many, in many places, it, it doesn't work because the roots aren't there. What makes New Bedford different is that we have such a rich artistic history here with the likes of Bierstock and Bradford and Gifford and so many others, the Swain School, and nowadays the Mass uh, College of Visual and Performing Arts. Um, arts have been here for a long time in New Bedford. The, the art scene here isn't new. It isn't super imposed on something that wasn't here before. Um, and so that's what gives it a vibrancy. And uh, the Art Museum is well, well positioned to really um, uh, to amplify what we have. And, uh, and Kate recognizes that. And I think in the long run, we will become, uh, as I said earlier, richer as a community uh, by giving um, all of our citizens in here and in the region, especially our children, an experience an opportunity to experience first-rate uh, works of art, and uh, um, I think we're better off, uh, we'll be better off as a community for that. So I thank you very much, and uh, we also recognize uh, Henry Bousquet, 
Uh, and Jim Oliver from the City Council, I know that uh, they both are big supporters of this institution. And um, I think, Henry, you got a couple words to say. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mayor Mitchell. Um, good afternoon, everybody. I just wanted to uh, come and on behalf of the City Council present a uh, s small proclamation here, a little resolution uh, on behalf of New Bedford City Council and the City of Bedford. Uh, be it hereby known to all that the City of New Bedford, Massachusetts hereby offers its sincerest congratulations to New Bedford Art Museum in recognition of the ribbon cutting celebration of the City Gallery. The entire citizenry extends its very best wishes on this memorable occasion and expresses the hope for continued good fortune. Given this day, the 27th day of March, 2012, by our Council President, Stephen Martins, and Ward 4 Councilor Bruce Duart, myself, Henry Bousquet, Jim Oliveira, and the rest of the City Council. Um, if I could, Kate, I'd also like to say that I think this, this is the beginning of a new era, a new uh, emergence of the uh, New Bedford Art Museum. And looking around at this exhibit, I see um, exactly what New Bedford is about, the, the extreme diversity represented here in this gallery today from new works of art like that installation of the boat hanging there to the, uh, the old, older, uh, uh, probably extraordinarily valuable pieces behind me. Um, uh, and and it's, I think it's a wonderful thing this collaboration is taking place between the two, um, <clears throat> between the two boards here. The, the art museum and the library. Uh, this I don't think could have could have happened at a better time. This is this is uh, you know New Bedford I think is poised to be uh, launching itself into uh, quite a cultural uh, little empire. So uh, congratulations, Kate, and uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I also want to recognize Steve Polkino from the. The New Bedford Library Director. We all know that the library is one of the important symbols of downtown New Bedford and of the whole city as a whole, the main library. But the library itself can't thrive without a thriving downtown. When we were approached by the Art Museum to set up a permanent gallery here, or, well, not exactly, I mean, a, a rotating permanent gallery, I guess we can call it. Permanent space. Uh, permanent space for the library to show its collection off. We were, the trustees and I and Janice Hodson, our art curator, were all very enthusiastic about it because one of the things that a thriving downtown needs, at least this one needs, is a thriving art museum. And so anything we can do to help it would be something that we really, really want to do. Um, the library is now collaborating with a number of different uh, community organizations, but perhaps one of the th places that we can help the most is with the Art Museum. So thank you, Kate, for asking us, and I'm sure the trustees will all agree with me that this is an amazing space, and we're very, very happy with it. Thank you. So before we cut the ribbon, um, what I, I'd also like to um, send a special thank you to Phoebe Perry, who is our Director of Development and who has worked tirelessly um, and helped me at, at, in so many ways make this happen. And she has raised the funds to really make bring all of these improvements to the museum. Um, the other person I would like to thank is Seth Rainville. Um, Seth came on um, last fall as our curator, and he is the one um, to thank for, for what you're seeing today. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Perfectionist and amazing in everything you do. So thank you, Janice, and Louis Doherty, who is here and is our lifesaver at all times. And all of the other, <laughs> I know, I know, Louis, and all of the other, uh, everybody else that helped us out. I can't thank you enough, and I'm sure I'm forgetting people, and, but I apologize if I am. But um, thank you very much. Yes. Yes. All right, one, three, ready? One, two, three. Okay.